Hi, today we are going to discuss story or an incident about a great person called Hassan. His name is Hassan. We are talking about Hassan. So don't forget this name. This is the main character of the story. The Serang of Renaganji or Renaganji. This is name of a ship. Serang means a leader or a head of Lasker. I hope you heard the word Lasker. Lasker means uh, the sailors in a ship, especially from Asia, South Asia or from India. They are known as Lasker. Lasker means sailors, mean the helping people or the sailors in a ship. They are known as Lasker when they are from India or from South Asia. Okay. And the head of this Lasker is known as Serang. I hope you heard the word in Malayalam, Strang. Strang. Especially in Malayalam movie, uh, Mayavi. You, you know, Selim Kumar was Strang, right? Strang. Same with the Serang. Almost the same word means Lasker, uh, people from India to help the ship or to sail the ship. So there was a head, Serang. That Serang was Hassan was that Serang. We are talking about that Serang of Renaganji written by Dr. A.J. Cronin. And this is the second chapter from your fourth unit. We have already finished the third chapter. You, don't you remember? The wreck of Titanic. That we have already finished it. Now we are moving to the second chapter from that. This is also talking about ship. And some words related with ships you can get. Uh, even at the glossary or the worksheet of your textbook, you have to find out the words related with ship. That's That we will discuss in the live class. Okay. So, before, as we do in every class, before we start, let's know something about Dr. A.J. Cronin. <laughs> okay. A.J. Cronin, 1896-1981, was a Scottish novelist, means from Scotland, and a physician, and he was a doctor, okay, physician by profession. Here you have to underline one thing. Almost every writer, or many writers, not almost everyone, many writers, their profession is not writing, they have another profession. That's why they can write experiences from their field. So, in your life also, if you wanted to be a doctor or an accountant or an engineer, even though you can write a lot, okay, you don't want to be a writer, writer professionally, but you can write. Nowadays, it's very clear in the Facebook or in other social medias, social media, you can write. Okay, this is uh, by, uh, he was a physician by profession. His major novels include, just look, have you heard any of this novel? Hatter's Castle in 1931, The Star Looked Look Down 1935, The Citadel 1937, The Keys of the Kingdom 1942, The Green Years 1944, Shaman's Way, Shannon's Way, A Thing of Beauty, The Judas Tree, and a song of sixpence. All these are famous works, famous novels. That's why we caught it here. Whenever we talk about different uh, people or different authors, we never say all of this, right? So his strength as a novelist are his. So when we ask about the speciality of A. J. Cronin, what comes first? Look, keen observation of what? Graphic description. So when he described things, we will get a graphic feeling and his narrative skill is variety and really varied and different. You will get it when you go through the story, the Sarang of Renaganji. Okay. The excerpt means this part of the Sarang of Renaganji is a chapter taken from Adventures in Two World. This is a real name of book, Adventures in Two Two world. Okay, this is a name of book. From this book, there is a. This is this book is his autobiographical novel. What do you mean by autobiographical novel? At the same time, it's a novel, 
and at the same time it talk about our own history for example if i write my own history or my own uh, things my own experiences in a book uh, then i can call it autobiographical novel in the in the way of a novel in the novel what is what you can see there will be many chapters in a novel right so from that chapters one of the chapter is the sarang of renaganji so real book name is adventures in two world that is the autobiographical novel of dr aj cronin it is an anecdote anecdote means already life experience which we have experienced not a tale a tale means something we create a tale okay a tale uh, you heard in the poem the titanic the word tale means something that we create a story anecdote is already happened one okay anecdote from his experience as a sarang uh, as a surgeon in the royal navy he was in the royal navy he was a surgeon so medical surgeon there so this is a chapter he talks about that experience in the novel adventures in two worlds okay look here is a story about a voyage voyage i think i told in the last chapter also mean travel in ship okay or in the water that's called voyage from liverpool to calcutta liverpool you already know that's where, where is liverpool in england english premier league river liverpool is a great team right boys knows know that well calcutta to calcutta to india during british rule in india it tells how the author and the hero of the story manage a potential calamity potential calamity means we expected really calamity a danger situation or a great problem that they maintained that silently and bravely with courage they managed all thing the hero of the story hassan and dr aj cronin the author of the story both of them managed this with courage that is all together about the story and this is an anecdote sharing an experience of a journey like a travel log from liverpool to calcutta and you you have to remember two names hassan and dr aj cronin okay that is a point here so here we are just moving to the story just take your textbook and read the first paragraph from the sarang of renaganji before before i explain i request you to pause the video and read it okay just read the textbook i hope you have paused it and read the textbook let's go through the first paragraph that there was a lady she was smartly dressed and she was a first class passenger and they were standing in the upper deck deck means the board or the upper area or the open area of the ship they were standing there they were standing liners upper deck and uh, she told look my dear look my dear have you ever seen such an absurdly comic really comic or what we can say not beautiful okay not handsome not beautiful such an absurdly comic creator in your life pointing to a person there was a girl okay a lady she was her voice was well bred well bred means a person who who is brought up very well I mean with load of money with lot of casualing and all things they got they got very good food that's why they were well bred so in that well bred voice that lady told to her companion both of them were standing there and i dr aj cronin donder also was standing nearby them she told pointing to a person oh my dear have you ever seen such an absurdly comic absurdly comic means looking very dull and dirty such a comic creature have you seen that was a first comment and they were making that comment from where from the ship renaganji which was about to start its journey from liverpool to calcutta then they were pointing to a person okay following their amused gaze both of them were looking okay you i hope you have already read the first part and let's come through this following their amused gaze 
what do you mean by the word gaze gaze looking sharply okay looking sharply that's known as gaze my eyes came to rest upon a squat very ugly native seaman look look at the way that dr aj cronin speak my eyes came to rest upon means i saw okay i saw a person but the way he narrated that is a special narrative style of dr aj cronin look at this my eyes came to rest upon a squat what do you mean by squat means short small with disproportionate head or very small short okay squat very ugly native seaman no i could see an ugly means looking not beautiful looking very bad an ugly seaman a person related with sea with short legs his legs so if you are asked to write about the main character of the story hasan you should say, this is we are talking about hasan you have to understand all these points with short legs and a large disproportionate head what do you mean by disproportionate head so comparing to my physique means my physical appearance i must have a small head like this i hope my my head and body is proportionate there would be some people looking to their belly they will be very short but head will be big otherwise their head will be short belly is and other parts of the body will be so big so such such body figure is known as disproportionate there is no equal proportion between the head and body so it uh, that person has a disproportionate head i recognized him as the indian sarang he was indian sarang okay from the south asia and then he was he was from india i already told you the word meaning of sarang or quarter master of the ship I mean quarter master means not a full master one uh, quarter you already know that uh the word quarter in 1 by 4 okay he was a quarter master of the ship he was quietly superintending the crew of laskas now completing the loading of baggage see baggage means luggage luggage okay and the laskar they were the people or the helping people in the ship sailors in the ship they were loading something to the ship and the sarang hasan was superintending them he was leading them he was ahead he was giving them instruction to the laskars laskars also i told in the beginning of the class and looks hardly human what do you mean by the word hardly hardly means not hardly means this is a negative sentence you might have studied this before also hardly means really the word hardly means uh hardly negative okay hardly this is negative not so looks hardly human means he does not look as a human for example i can say that i hardly go to school okay i hardly means i don't go to school i never went to school or i can say that Uh, i hardly watch video recorded classes i always expect the live class and explanation from a teacher that's why i hardly watch recorded classes okay I mean that's a negative so you may you may see never see that so working so you never use he is working hardly he is working hardly means he did not work or he is not working at all so you should use he work hard or he works hard okay he worked hard never say he worked hardly he is working hardly okay it means it's a negative sentence it means he does not work he do uh, he does not work at all okay so look uh, looks hardly human okay agreed the man with a superior smile so the lady was standing there with her there was a companion that was a man she was talking to this person that looked that absurd comic creature 
Then that person told, what was his comment? Looks hardly human, agreed the man with a superior smile. Looks hardly human, he does not look like human. Okay. Inclines a chap to believe that dear old Darwin was not altogether wrong. I hope you got that word. When you see the person, okay, when you see the person, it inclines to a chap, inclines, inclines in a sense, inclines in a sense, look, it shows that a chap, a chap means a small boy, it will tell, looking at this man, Hassan, it, it, it is very clear or it shows, it gives instruction to a chap, a small boy that to believe, it will help the boy to believe what, what, that Darwin was not altogether wrong. Darwin, what Darwin says, he says there is an uh, evolution in the uh, create, creation of man, the human, we came from monkeys and later we will be another creature. So, he is also looking like a monkey or a chimpanzee, that's why uh, they tell, uh, it will tell a chap, a small boy that Darwin was not wrong. So, that was the opinion of this person who stand nearby Miss Job Smith or that lady. Okay, look, the voyage began favorably in calm, clear weather. So, now they are just only, that was a girl, her name was Miss Job Smith. She told about that person and now we are starting the journey. Okay. The voyage began favorably in calm, clear weather. We crossed the Bay of Biscay without suffering unduly from the turbulent waters and soon were through the uh, Strait of Gibraltar. So that they took the way from Liverpool to Calcutta. First, it was very clear and calm weather there in the sea. We closed the Bay of Biscay, that's a place, without suffering any unduly means any problem from the turbulent waters. I mean, that was very uh, calm water there and uh, soon were through the Strait of Gibraltar. Then we came to Gibraltar. From Biscay, here I'm not going to explain a lot. From Biscay, we came to Gibraltar. Traversing means also the word crossing, okay. The tranquil Mediterranean under azure, tranquil means quite calm, okay. Calm Mediterranean sea under azure means very blue and very calm sky. So as you look at the word azure, tranquil, uh, straight and uh, turbulent and all these words uh, looks calm. Azure means beautiful, very uh, with, a, with a blue color sky. The Renaganji was a, now we are coming to talk about the ship. The Ranaganji was a stout, means very grand, royal, old tub. Tub also we call, it's uh, like um, ship, okay. Uh, manned by white officers. So, white officers were there with an entirely native Indian crew. All other helpers, so this is coming from Liverpool to India, from, uh, Brit uh, from Britain or from UK to India. That's why Officers are white officers and other crews, helping crews like last cars, they are from India. I was a physician of the ship. Dr. A.J. Cronin, the author, was a physician of the ship and was delighted by the balmy breezes and brilliant sunshine. You will get many good words like this, balmy breezes, which gives uh, no any bad smell. Breeze, breeze you already know, small wind, okay. And brilliant sunshine, looking very good sunshine, and we could enjoy all those things. That is a uh, experience of Dr. A.J. Cohen when he went through the ship. The ship was crowded. Crowded means there were a lot of people in the ship, and that was packed with passengers from stem to stern. I hope you remember the same word in the the wreck of Titanic from the. Uh, bottom to end okay all all parts of the ship were filled with many people the usual and we are now explaining who all are there in the ship look at this usual tourist 
and pleasure seekers pleasure seekers people who seek pleasure and they came for came uh, for a voyage as a tour and a trip okay together with a large number of anglo indian army officers also there An anglo indian anglo indian means the people who born to mix it up of uh, english people and indian okay okay no no uh, and uh, british people and indian so army officers many of them uh, indian army officers many of them many of whom were accompanied by their wives and families they were coming with their wives uh, from the first night out there was a tremendous gaiety on board gaiety means like a party okay gaiety means party in the first night itself there was a party on the board the chief among the social promoters for in every group in every traveling in almost everything there will be a social leader for everything and in this team who was the leader the social promoter who was it that was miss job smith this job smith was talking the same thing in the beginning the woman whom i had overheard on the boat deck in the morning of our departure when we started the journey i heard the voice of a girl we told about her looking talking about hasan that he was an absurdly comic creator that who who talked that that was uh, miss job smith okay miss job smith she was a social promoter for all the gaieties all the parties in the ship madam job smith or mad job smith was a trusting person mean trusting means a person who come to come friend with all things trusting person obviously over 30 she was over 30 means 30 plus a uh, got up in a dashing style to look younger so look even uh, uh, look, even she is 30 but looking so younger even though 30s and 40s people look so younger and looks like plus two students like because she got that much makeup and she got a dashing style dashing style means a very good style to look younger she was not only a snob snob means a disturbing person okay disturbing socially disturbing person always talking in the class uh, but a bore <laughs> really she was a boring person an assertive bore not only a bore really she was a boring uh, we reached it port set Uh, this is another place everyone went ashore excitedly when they reached port uh, were port set there is a place everyone went ashore they went out for what came back with silks so usually when we go travel we buy silks shawls cigarettes and do you buy cigarettes no thank you a uh, scent and jewelry then we were through the red sea after that and then everybody bought all those things and they came back so in between the journey they stopped somewhere that place is known as port set everybody went out and as they went out they came with what they came back with shawl other other sm small things then we came to red sea past the barren rocks the barren rocks of aden big rocks of aden and out upon the white arabians then we came to arabian sea look they come to red sea arabian sea look at they are coming from uh, calcutta to india okay then what happened you know on the following morning next morning as i held to my consultations in the surgery adjoining my cabin adjoining his cabin means nearby his cabin there was a consultancy room for the other doctor aj cronin and he was consulting in the next morning then what happened you know this sarang this sarang hasan this is a person this sarang hasan appeared bringing so he came that laskar hat he came bringing with him two of his laskar duck hands laskar of his laskar duck hands means people who help them laskar i already told people from india to sail and to help the members of the ship and the officers okay hasan came with two laskar hands two people from his laskar he inclined his head in a respectful salam inclined means he just bowed his head like he was a muslim so respectful salam okay he came uh, and addressed me one thing he told his voice was hoarse means Jose voice means not looking well what we say what a cracking voice it was not melodious not much good nothing not sweet he came in a Jose sound yet it had a steady undertone even though it was a Jose 
very rush uh, very rough sound it has a it has an undertone like undertone means when we speak to someone with undertone it was going with respect and he told dr saheb dr saheb oh that's a like call the word saheb means friend this is an arabic word friend is it i fear these men are sick that was a comment from uh comment from whom from hassan hassan told dr saheb i fear these men are sick they are not well that was a comment from um, from whom from dr uh, from hassan the seamen certainly did not look well seamen means these two people they were not looking well they they told when we uh, go to doctor usually we will have complain at sick at sick people right so they complain general malaise what do you mean by malaise discomfort like if we are suffering from any fever or anything else we feel a discomfort see a general discomfort they felt it like i am not well we will tell us i am not well i feel cool like when we suffer from fever okay like that they also complain from general malaise of intense headache means uh, uh, like extremely well headache and racking bone pains they have bone pains also racking means you know extremely extremely pain paining racking means extremely racking uh bone pains they looked frightened too they were looking as they were suffering something very serious they were looking okay as i asked them to strip and begin my exam i asked them to strip uh, strip you all know stripping means give, giving giving glucose or something else and to take a strip and begin my examination both were fever okay both of them were fever with thickly furrowed tongues and that dry skin they were dry skin and thickly furrowed tongues the the tongues tongues were like furrowed means it was curled which is a uh, nature's gravest warning when there is a dry skin and a furrowed tongues for the people it gives the nature's gravest warning means a serious warning that there is something important inside the body or this disease is really serious it will tell you like that okay and then to my horror means i felt that my palpitating fingers he was going like this and he was examining so my palpitating fingers became aware of a scattering of hard little nodules under the wrist skin of each man so under the wrist skin of each man when dr ajay croning was examining some parts he feel some nodules and nodules means some kind of poxes okay under the wrist skin of each man it was an unmistakable symptom of smallpox like chicken pox like a smallpox though it was uh, the symptom of a uh, another smallpox like what we call uh, the chicken pox like there was some pox related with uh, fever even though that is contagious means it will spread from one person to another one that's why dr aj cronin now he also feared so what happened you know when two people they are in the sea and they have to travel a lot to get next to shore and next hospital they have limited availability of medicine and other thing and there are no more space because ship is crowded that's why if anybody reported with a with sick and if anybody reported like if they feel bad uh i mean if they feel any kind of problem contagious one also what happen it will spread to other very soon that's why dr ajay kron also fear he is also frightened okay so looking the uh, moving to the next part young and inexperienced in my profession i had not learned to control my feelings so he was new as a surgeon in the ship he heard about this disease from two laskars but he was young and inexperienced so he could not control his feelings my expression must have altered visibly so his expression should show to others that uh, there is something serious for although the sarang said nothing sarang said nothing he was quiet his lined and battered battered means really uh damaged or such face there are many problems uh, battered face amused assumed a look of deeper gravity means 
he also felt that there was something serious for this two men. Hurriedly, very soon, with beating heart, my uh, heart was beating, I made my way to the bridge. Bridge, I, I hope you understand the word meaning bridge that which we use in our, but in case of ship, this is an elevated part of a ship where officers can meet with the higher officers, such a place. Captain Hample was not there. He was a captain of the ship, but he was not there at the bridge at that time. But in the chart room below, he looked up sharply as I burst in. Okay, he was there in the chart room below and I, I went to him. He was looking very sharply. Sir, my voice broke, means I could not speak well. My voice broke. I have to report smallpox on board. On board were my responsibility there. I have to report smallpox, the most contagious disease with fever and other things. Two of the deck hands, two of them, I feel there is smallpox for them. I saw his lip draw tightly, mm, like this, mm, draw tightly together. He was a thickest man of 55 year old. Okay, he was a thickest, very toughest, known as a strict disciplinarian in the ship. I hope you understand many people, especially in a school, like in your school when you were in 10th standard also, there will be some teachers, there will be strict disciplinarians. Here we have also such staffs, okay, there are strict disciplinarians, but uh, there will be some uh, not, not much tough or risky teachers also will be there. But also, as just and uh, fair-minded officer, he was a very good officer and a strict officer also, same time, okay. So here what he told to his friends, you know, a doctor, he said, he said, a doctor drawing up at last and he came, he just opened his mouth, coming close to me, coming close to the doctor, Dr. A.J. Cronin, he told one thing, his words unmistakably grim, means he was serious, grim means serious, in a serious voice, Captain told Dr. A.J. Cronin, the author and the uh, first person of this uh, story, told, listen, you are in charge of health of the ship. You are in charge of health of the ship. It's entirely up to you. Don't ask me anything. Okay, it's up to you and it's your responsibility. I can't give you any of my officers. You never expect any of my officers to help you it is your responsibility to take the charge of health of the ship not my responsibility and already i am overloaded and understaffed means i have lot of work here but same time i have no enough staff and people with me to help me to do all those works that's why you never ask me for the help with men and officers i cannot give that but i will do one favor for you i will give you hassan the finest man that i will give you he is the finest man which i can give you that's why you may take him i can give you hassan and he will do everything and your prime duty is never let the news about the smallpox spread never tell to anyone and never a lip see never don't let a whisper of it got get out N never a whisper about it because you know or if we whisper and spread the news about this we will have to face a bloody panic people will be panic listening to that like at the time of COVID-19 we people are panic when we listen some dangerous situation right like that don't leave the people panic you have to do one thing what you have to do keep it as a secret okay and uh, that was I will give you Sarang Sarang that was Hassan believe he is the finest man which I can give you I left the chart room Dr. AJ Cronin left the chart room realizing with a weakness in my stomach I mean in my in his stomach he felt a weakness what was the desperate responsibility of my position now I understood my responsibility is so big okay I have so big responsibility and we at that time when this was reported we were in the middle of Arabian Sea 1500 passengers 1500 okay passengers 
a bot means they were on the bot no means whatever of vaccinating them no nothing even if we vaccinate them we have no enough vaccine and we have how many people we have here 15 1500 people we have here so we cannot and the smallpox look the most deadly contagion contagion means which will spread one person to another in the list of all disease in the dictionary of all disease which is the most contagion and the most serious one smallpox and now we are facing that and if we cannot stop it then stop the news of spreading this we will fail and people will uh, suffer the panic situation also back in the surgery one of the last cars was in the grip of violent rigor see i came back i came back then what what i can see you know two men were there one of them one of the last cars was in the grip of a violent rigor he was violent when he was violent and was showing something uh, abnormal i turned from the shivering man to the sarang then they, they were shivering and i turned to sarang the hassan the hassan not hassan is enough okay i turned from the shivering man to the sarang whose incalculable eyes reminded fixed upon me incalculable means i cannot calculate what he is he was just looking at me he fixed his eyes on when sarang hassan was looking at me we have go to isolate this man. I told him, we have to isolate these two people. Otherwise, this will spread to others. We cannot do anything. We have a lot of people. We have not enough vaccine. Even though we have vaccine, we cannot vaccinate them. That's why I tell you, just isolate these people. Check on the contacts. Check on the contacts means if you are looking through the list of the people, you will understand if there is any uh, free place to accommodate both of this uh, sick people. There was no sick bay on the board. Sick bay means a special coach, the special room for the sick people. Not an inch available cabin space. No any inch was free there in the ship. Baffled means confused 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 look at this confused i i look at the sarang confused i have no any other idea i look at sarang who uh, anticipate again turned upon me and full force of his eyes with full uh, force of his eyes he was looking at me then he told one thing we will make a shelter on the after that dr sahib very cool there with plenty of fresh air that was a comment from hassan he told dr sahib nothing to fear we will arrange a shelter there in the after deck after the deck there is a place there we will make a shelter for these people there are a load of fresh air and it's very cool there also so we don't have to worry about these people we will arrange it that was a comment from hassan in the stern of the ship, stem and stern, stern means upper part of the ship, protected from view by battery of derricks. Derricks is a company like, there was derrick and donkey engines, both derrick and donkey engines, there was the engine, that engine's battery was there and there, as there is the battery of engine, other people can't see us, we are just making the shelter behind this. I hope you got the idea. Okay. And that protected from the view of people because of the battery of Derek and Doggy engine. He set to work. I mean, Hassan started working there within an hour. Within an hour. Within an hour, he had erected. Means with silent efficiency. A large can. Erected means he just spread it there. A large can was he spread there. And mattresses. Mattresses which we call uh, when we bed sheet like thing okay mattresses and sheets were then brought up and then two patients were comfortably installed so he brought mattresses he came with sheets and he erected what uh, the canvas large canvas everything he made there and he installed these two patients there after deck our next step was to muster the crew for a uh, thorough medical inspection Master up means gather. So we, our next step, these two people, we just made only an initial step of examining them, 
now we have to go to the detailed checkup of these two persons what happened to them one of the stalkers who complained of fever and headache showed the uh, prodromal nodules with the, the beginning of typical rash rash also another another like with fever and the problem like we have some scrap in the skin like another disease okay so he also showed the symptom of rash another person one of these stalkers I mean a person in the stock who complained of fever and headache he has also a headache after examining that person he had also a rash another fever another disease he was isolated that third person also were isolated that third person also was isolated with whom uh, with that two two person okay he was also isolated with others now we have three members total okay and now who is going to help me to attend this man that was a question from the doctor sahib who is going to help me hasan glanced at me glanced means look just have a glance look in surprise why naturally it is i i will do it my doctor sahib you must be careful see look at the word of doctor with love he told his man you must be careful this is this this disease is most contagious I'm not afraid, Doctor Sahib. That was it. This disease is the most contagious, so you must be careful, my dear Hassan. You are here to help me, but you must be careful because this is most contagious. I, 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 I don't afraid. I'm not afraid, my doctor, dear doctor. Together, Hassan and I sponged this patient. Sponging means just you know that uh, doing with the sponge, just watering them with a. Uh, permanganate solution okay permanganate solution you know something which help them to uh, kill the uh, bacteria and other things permanganate solution we sponsored them with that one administrated to each man a strong uh, antiparatic also we gave this is a medicine we gave antiparatic okay and hung sheets socket hung there were some sheets which were hung there so we all oh, spread hung sheet was soaked means soaked means watered we sprayed some water there what soaked in a uh, what disinfectant disinfectant with disinfectant means which give uh, when we have infection which protect us from infection that is known as disinfectant so with disinfectant liquid we soaked all the sheets there round the shelter and set up within this little secret area in the secret area we made another thing what a cooking stove where liquids liquids could be heated and simple meals prepared so we can prepare simple meal there we can want sometime if you want to heat liquids we can do that also there or oh, everything was prepared there okay in that simple secret room next morning however brought fresh cause for concern we have another cause for concern even three people are here but in the next morning itself what happened another cases look i found three new cases among the deck hands now three plus three now six people are there i don't know whether you are getting the seriousness and the danger situation here whatever it may be there are contagion contagious diseases there but still hassan is helping others right Hassan is helping this doctor and those people with courage. That's the main point from the chapter. And now we have three more cases. Uh, the deck hands. The men already segregated were much worse. So already there were three people. Segregated means segregate, specialized or isolated, made lonely. That people or those people, they were their condition was worse than yesterday. and that same afternoon four more so 6 plus 4 four more new crew sick and crew means people in the help of the ship we now had 10 cases in 6 plus 4 10 in our mac, uh, in our makeshift lazaretto in that places okay in that lazaretto we have 10 people okay it was a situation to test the strongest nerves means in this situation we have strongest nerves so we were going to test all that okay but the serum come and uh, un uh, perturbed unperturbed means he was not disturbed no any change in the feeling 
gave me fresh heart looking at him i felt fresh heart in the uh, in tenting the patience he was uh, what look at the word indefatigable means nobody can defeat him he was such a great person look at the words indefatigable uh, and unperturbed lazato these three words just understand the meaning of uh, this three word lazato and unperturbed and uh, indefatigable don't forget all this word even though these are some tough words just understand the meaning of all these words let me tell it again so the word lazato makeship lazato means a shelter and you can see it in the glossary of a textbook also shelter which we made here and look unperturbed unperturbed means he didn't felt any kind of anxiety perturbed means feeling anxiety so without any perturbation or like not perturbation like he was not perturbed okay that was uh, unperturbed and uh, indefatigable i already told you not tired nobody can defeat him he was tirelessly working so hasan was working with all this we have 10 cases and hasan was calm in this lazato we made everything we have 10 cases in the lazato now and hasan was unperturbed and he was indefatigable so such a great person is hasan be careful yourself i had to back him do not go quite so close doctor the other says uh, that uh, when he speak with uh uh hasan he was so close to the uh, sick people that's why doctor said i had to convince him don't go there it's most contagious one be careful yourself now he showed his strong teeth at this time even all this time he was not even smiling not speaking anything in a sudden uh, a fleeting smile are you careful of yourself doctor sahib are you careful of yourself i am not going closer that's okay but you tell me don't go close but are you careful yourself that was with a smile dr uh, hasan told it indeed i am besides it's my responsibility this is my duty to save all these members that's why i must be careful that's okay besides it's my work also don't worry my doctor my doctor i am strong and it's my work also it is not only your work it's my work also to save all these people that's why don't fear i will also help you okay oh i was so weighed down weighed down means with the responsibility he was weighed down there were many other problems like he was uh, what under confident or he felt anxiety he was fearful frightened all those time look weighed down by the responsibility that i had slight concern for myself okay uh, although we were moving full steam ahead we were going front colombo the nearest port of call was still 8 days away look we are going front that's okay but the colombo that was the next place next destination or we will get a hospital and sure medicine everything out that was 8 days ago in the course of the next 48 hours I mean 2 days four more stalkers so 10 plus 4 now 14 members were there total of 14 now and one of the earlier victims had lapsed into coma see he lapsed means he went into coma now we are just moving from the ship liverpool to calcutta in between now we are nearby colombo but colombo is in sri lanka right but we have to uh, travel 8 more days to reach there now we have 14 cases in our lazato in this isolated place and we have no medicine so we are we got uh, four more cases but the first two person first two person came and one of them had an abnormal vigor he just went into coma seemed likely to die at any hour maybe he will die at any time under this added load i could not sleep see aj cronin or the doctor aj cronin could not sleep because of this burden and load look and there where i knew i should find him there if there was a place where i knew i should i i know that i can find hasan watchful and mute under the stars he was looking and he was mute he was looking to the stars under the star was his saran 
Sarang was there in a place where I know I will find him there. It was his place, usual place. So Dr. A.J. Cronin says, in that place, Sarang Hassan is standing there. He was there. How shall I describe the solace which followed towards me from him as he stood there in the meditation? When Hassan stand in meditation, I know that the solace, solace means the calm or the quiet thing or a, a mental freeness. I feel the mental freeness looking at Hassan when he is in his meditation. See, when he is in the meditation with his long arms folded on his bare chest. Look, I know, I, I hope you understand Muslims do the prayer, the namas uh, with long hands folded in the chest. So when Hassan stand like in the namas, uh, Dr. Sahib said, looking at him, I also feel the solace. That's a real uh, uh, part of the worship. And if others also see you, they also feel a kind of uh, what a feeling to the God. And solace means a mental freeness. So doctor says, when I look at Hassan doing this prayer, his meditation, I also feel uh, like uh, what a solace in my mind motionless as a statue oh he was looking like a statue means he was looking like an idol and uh, motionless he was not moving when a sick man groaned faintly like groaned means i hope you understand the word like uh, uh, like groaning not making the sound okay uh, faintly he would step forward so and uh, when he listened to the patients making sound he will come Hassan will come without sound to uh, to succor him. To succor means to what we, we will say uh, to convince him or to give him relief. Or to the word succor really means support. Here he will give relief, okay, A and help. Then returning, he would fold his arms while the ship uh, surgeon slowly forward, okay. And our ship was going slowly forward and he was going back to the meditation. When he listened to the sound of uh, any patients, he would come back and succor them and help them. That was a routine which I could find. Hassan had no fondness for speech. Means he was not talkative like many of us. I am a talkative and you, many of you are like, we like to talk a lot. But Hassan, he has no any fondness. He had no any fondness to speak. But despite the silence of our long night vigils, I mean, vigils means oh, we people will be vigilant all, all those night and spending with together. I gathered some uh, fragments of his history. Even he was not ready to speak. In, in our vigilance and when we people were looking all those people, all those days uh, after speaking to him, I could find some information, some fragments of information about him that he was from Punjab. Hassan was from Punjab. When means when his parents had wandered to southern India. They went other places, southern India. There are like so many in the coast. In the coastal area, so many people are there. They, they travel to other places. He had taken what a seafaring life means. He was uh, seafaring life means a life related with sea. Always going with the ship, going to fish, all those things. Like in the coastal area, his parents went somewhere else. That's why he was isolated and he was lonely. For nearly 40 years in the sea life, he was almost 40 years in the sea. He had given himself to the ocean of the world. Different oceans, differences. People are different. It, some people are born or like they are unfortunate. That's why they have no any choice of job they will do the job which they got okay a doctor's son will be a doctor and an engineer's son will be a doctor like he was nearby the sea living so he went to the sea and he was doing many other uh, other uh, that job which he got okay but some people even they they work outside they come to see because they want to see or some people work in the tourist areas because they want to see many places look at this uh, like that Hassan, by it was not by choice. He, by chance, he it it was not his choice because he lived in the coastal area of Punjab. So he sacrificed 40 years for sea life, and 15 of these years had been spent in the Ranaganji, in the same ship which we are talking about Ranaganji. 
Hassan was spending all the time. Indeed, he had no place on shore, neither family nor friends in the great land mass of India. In this great land mass of India, he had no any family, he had no any other things, nothing, nothing for him in this all places. Okay. And he had never married. He never married. Now also, even for, uh, uh, in between this 14 years, 15 of this he spent with Renaganji. So now we are talking about Hassan. Surely, you can expect a question from this chapter, either to talk about Hassan or talk about Rena, uh, uh, Dr. A.J. Cronin. So find maximum information regarding all these people. Okay, especially about Hassan. Don't forget. Okay, and uh, look. Uh, I hope this is visible now. Right. Okay. By religion, he was a Muslim. All his life, he had acquired nothing. He acquired nothing. Look at the people and their way of life. Neither property nor money. He had no money nor any other property. His few possessions contained in his ship's chest might be worth a few rupees. So, what he has a ship chest, some, some places for him. Whatever you look for, for Hassan, you find nothing special more. It was all like, uh, all, only some worth, some rupees only. Uh, the thought hurt me and in an access to, uh, of a mistaken sympathy, I exclaimed, Hassan, you are doing so much in this emergency. The company must give you extra pay. His forehead creased perplexedly. He was... Uh, he was silent for a long moment, then he answered, What use in the money, Dr. Sahib? To one who has all he need, I am well enough what I am. So, looking to the works of Hassan all this time, what happened, you know? Uh, Dr. A.J. Cronin told, Hassan, you are doing great job. Company should pay you. They must give you uh, more pay, extra payment. They should give you extra payment. Hassan told after a silence, why I need money? I have all things which I need. Then why should I get extra money? Look at that philosophy. When you have everything which you need, you don't need money. But same time, you need money. Money is power. Money will help you to go to many places. Everything is there. But whenever you are free from money and such thoughts, you don't need it. You don't have to go uh, go many many places searching searching money okay that's about hassan okay coming to the next part of the story now we already mentioned about uh, the uh, problem and the disease and the contagious 14 people are there in the lesotho in the makeshift lesotho everything is there now just we were talking something about hassan why he was so his history also we were discussing now let's move to the next part Hassan does not need money. That was the comment from Dr. J. Cronin. And he was unmistakably sincere. He was sincere, not just boasting, like, I don't need money. Like, he does not need that. Completely detached from the usual hope of a reward. He does not like reward. Detached from this means he is not attracted or attached to that. Okay. Money had no interest for him. He had always despised it. I mean, he, he, did, he does not want it. Instead, he had uh, courage, self-control, faith. When you write about Hassan, don't forget all these points. Okay. He has self-control, faith and courage, everything. The man he worked among lived poor and died poor. It had become the habit of his mind to dis, uh, disregard tomorrow. So men he worked with there were other people also they will die one day or another day so he felt there is no need of money one day i will also go from here that's why he disregard tomorrow he disregard tomorrow means he has no any expectation of tomorrow people will die day or today so live in present that was the policy of hassan live in present nothing special nothing to exaggerate live in present okay <clears throat> Standing with him in the liquid moonlight, I was stung by a strange pang. I had a feeling. Stung means it, that caught me. A pang means like I feel ashamed. Besides his clear simplicity, the world's values suddenly seem a dross. Means 
really illogic i feel it's draws means it's not feeling logic and very bad all other logic of the world standing with him he has no any consideration he had no any consideration about tomorrow he he is not thinking about tomorrow so standing with him the world's philosophy all other things i feel it's very bad oh, what i did like okay indeed as i viewed my own outlook towards the future my passionate desire for success and wealth i was uh, conscious of a secret shame i he was also feeling a secret shame looking at hazan on the following day we lost two of our patients we lost two of them it was hasan himself who sued i hope you know the suing means uh, tying or using the thread making something okay sued their sh shreds shreds means uh, a, a, a dress which we use to cover the dead bodies who in his horse horse voice horse and hollow voice read aloud short passage from the ramayana before their they were in this before their bodies wrapped in a sail cloth uh, with a weight at their feet were cast overboard at the midnight at the midnight time they were thrown out because the dead bodies we lost two of them i hope you understand the situation so uh, after giving a weight in the legs or the some body part they were casted outside okay no fresh cases developed and a week later we anchored of colombo we reached colombo that was 8 days ago when we were talking about this first and we reached there soon the sick men had been taken to the hospital several of hospital of the patients showed signs of having passed their crisis so many of them passed the crisis they overcome they tackled everything that's why we don't need to hospitalize them okay uh, but three helpless and delirious they were they were very serious a mass of running sores were carried in the arms of hasan see many uh, running uh, many other things okay a mass of running sores some problem with his skin uh, as we stood together i saw the sarang's dark cheeks were wet with tears see he was crying looking at the people dying all this time he was crying thinking of the sympathy with others our passage through the bay of bengal was brief and uneventful so we went through the bay of bengal to the india to calcutta nothing special to uh, uh, mention about i had barely time to recover myself or to realize that the epidemic had been confined before we were anchored alongside the quay at calcutta and this is a port okay so when we reached the calcutta even i don't know how we overcame how we what tackled the situation how we managed this epidemic or this pandemic i have no idea about it even i don't know how to think about it suddenly at my elbow i hear the familiar shrilling of miss jaw smith my elbow okay elbow means nearby side again we almost anchored in the calcutta then i listen to the word of miss jaw smith which we heard in the beginning i heard the same voice oh look look rani there is that absurd creature again so hasan is now outside he was inside and helping all those people so nobody could see him on the board and nobody on the board could see him no any travelers no any passengers now miss job smith again found hasan and she tells to rani her companion rani look that absurd creature again there okay once more i follow over the united guests they both were they both were looking to the person i it was and there again down in the after halt knocking out the hatch back turns to unload he was just taking unload every baggage was the object of their myth their laugh okay they were laughing at this person that was hasan he was there okay it was hasan and uh, the huntress means hunter huntress from uh, cheltenham swung round bent her wit her fascinations upon me where did you and after looking to all this okay with all the her passionate eyes and her voice she asked her doctor aj cronin where did you keep him during the enter voyage doctor in a special cage in a special cage for animals did you keep him in a special cage a cage means like we always use for the home of animals you just 
kept him in a special cage, doctor. That was the word of Miss Job Smith. Silence, a vision of the Sarang's nobility rising before me. I was thinking all the good activities and noble activities which uh, I could find in the life of Hassan. Then I told, yes, in a way it was a cage, but it is in queer, Miss Job Smith. The animals were all outside. So there was nothing serious. All animals were outside. That's why I kept this human being in a cage. That was my answer and that's the end of story. And what you can expect for public examination from this, the character sketch of Hassan, any conversation with Job Smith and many other works. You just go through the textbook, understand the activities and uh, just which you feel interesting, write. Otherwise, after the live class, I will tell you what to write and how to write. We will go through that and if you have any doubt with any word or any other things, just contact me at the live class. Just write down your doubts when we uh, meet in the live class. Ask me, don't forget. Okay. So, antiparatic, uh, impromptu, here without proper preparation, lesato, just isolated shelter. Okay. Late motto. So, th there are some uh, other words which we are not, not familiar with and uh, predormal, okay, uh, what symptomatic of the conduct of an attack or a disease, uh, perulent, containing pus, sarang, a pretty officer or a merchant, okay, I think everything is clear, just write it and uh, read, uh, write down the word meaning and uh, read the textbook and understand everything, I hope that's fine, that's fine for this day, thank you so much.